here we find Lex in his natural habitat. Oh, I've been startled. <laughs> I've been startled. <laughs> Breakfast in the morning, I like the bobster. Working on waffle maker, making some protein waffles. Is this on your channel? I think so, yeah. There we go. If yeah. it is on, link will pop up here. And I use the new my protein birthday cake protein. And it's really nice. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna get back on with the following of how we're eating and what we're doing. We're gonna be doing some all-day eating videos, we're gonna be doing QA's again. Laney and I are back in the UK and back on this. Boom! Fruit on top. With some Caramel Holdens. Oh, and look at that. That is breakfast. Views for days. Views with vanilla rice. <laughs> And listen, I sit back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly, flow like a harpoon daily and nightly. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I blow. Oh, that dude just landed from paragliding. Where are you off to, Barry? The pub? Nah, dude. I must have parachutes my back and jump off a hill. <laughs> Laddy sheep. Get off the roads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tractor man! Look at him. Calm down there now, country folk. You'll get where you're going, don't you worry. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Don't you worry now. I've just got a big pile of shit in the back of my tractor that I'm really fucking worried about because I keep looking back at it. Maybe if he went up his arse, you could see that there is a clear lane for overtaking there and we wouldn't all be stuck behind him. Probably if he speeds up, start throwing turtle over the road. I can smell it. I don't blame the tractor anymore. I blame you. You bastard. 25 miles an hour the entire way there. Right, now I blame him. I feel the need. The need. Hi! 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 What? They were all business on the walk, Dad. Oh, all did you? Business. You went on walks? Hey, <laughs> what was that? Were there, mis were there mysterious things? Was there some stuff and some things? And then some dirt? And did you eat lots of stuff? Did you eat lots of stuff? You're rolling in filth, Bailey. You're rolling in filth. So, back from a quick. Go wash the bike and do that. We have an hour to go training. So I'm going to show you how you can smash a workout in 45 minutes. Bob's just driving. And so this is a classic thing for when you're kind of short for time and you need to be somewhere and you're in a rush or whatever. So go for some quick carbs. So you want something that's going to land fast and be effective. And you can go whole plus a bit of fun on this one. So banana, standard one. That's going to be about 20 grams of carb. And then rice crispy square. That's another 30 grams. That's 50 grams of carbs. Perfect and they're gonna hit quick, especially this. So, eat that either during your warm-ups or just before you hit the gym, plus the banana, it's gonna be a bit more of a slow burner, and you are set to go. So the premise of when you're doing quick training, this is when supersetting comes into its own. Now, if you haven't been watching me on my Snapchat, you need to get on there, Lex Boom Baby, because while I'm not doing a YouTube video, I guarantee every day I'm putting snaps up, and I put up handy hints for the exercises I'm doing that day each time. So, make sure you are on there or you are missing out. Same goes for the Bobster with her food and her training. So again, don't miss out here, Lady Bobster, like Spoon Baby. Simples. So supersetting, the benefit of it is not so much anything to do with um, muscular gain and things like that, but mainly time saving. Supersetting allows you to fit more in a smaller time frame under a kind of high intensity training style. Um, it's probably well off then without breaking. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> so, as I was saying, it's more of a HIT style training. So, if you want to superset, you're going to have to, you 
you're looking for that 8 to 12 rep range, but your weight is going to come down. Fatigue is going to be a factor that kicks in there, but don't worry. If you're not training for any particular like, strength or anything like that, powerlifting style, all we want is time under tension. So as long as you're making sure that your technique is flawless, as we've always always discussed, start right, finish right, as long as that is good all the way through and you're not pushing through to uh, anything but a technical failure, you're going to be all good and you're going to get the same benefits. The only downside to this style of training is it can be a little harsher on the joints. Your rest times are obviously reduced significantly, so it does push the cardio side as well, which is a benefit, but it can also be a hindrance in terms of like over pump and things like that until you get used to doing it. So, I'm going to leave you with the tip top of the car and we'll see you when we hit the gym. So, so we are here, Coliseum, we're down there, right, dinging me bobber down. Right, today's videoing is not going to be pretty, it's going to be super prehistoric style, stick it and go. But it's going to be informative, let's go. What is good my YouTube peeps? We are back and we are back on track with the videos, the tutorials, the training, the vlogs, everything is back on track. We're in the UK now and we're going to be kicking ass from this point onwards so covering hamstrings triceps and back superset workout which is a time saver i'm going to take a quick look at the lying hamstring curl form here so choice of hand grip is wherever stops your upper body swinging back and forth look how my feet toes are slightly up heels pulling through and they're even either side that is hugely hugely important maintaining symmetry throughout Rest points were kept at 30 seconds. This was counting in my head. I would count to 25 seconds, and then by the time I was hitting 30, I was already lying down and the weight was going up. I didn't leave the machine. I didn't pick up my phone. I didn't distract myself. If I was doing something, it was something like this, stretching out. So when I am in there to focus and get shit done quickly, I do not allow things to distract me. It is very, very important that you keep the focus, you keep your timing, and you keep the consistency in your lifts. Remember, this is supersetting, but it's not volume or speed training. So your reps are still done in a controlled manner. Do not rush through. Here you can see my cap was annoying me and I literally took the cap off because it was removing some of the focus from my comfort and the way I was lifting. So again, getting through to the final set, you can see, look how the symmetry is maintained, the same body position, there's no raising of the body, no swinging. I ground out eight reps on the final set and they hurt like hell, I was absolutely done. Five sets, eight to 12 rep ranges aimed for. So you're simply looking to do a good hypertrophic workout, but not a rushed one. You're just looking at reducing rest times and then supersets are used to again, reduce the overall time required to do the workout, but the workout speed of reps does not change. Moving on, straight leg dumbbell deadlifts. Really popular with me, especially with my knackered left butt cheek, because this helps me focus on each side individually, and rest pauses can also be used by keeping the dumbbells to my sides at the top if need be. Here you need to look. The thing about straight leg deadlifts is you're driving through the heels and the hips. Do not start the movement at your shoulders. A lot of people start the movement by lifting the upper body. What you have to think about doing is driving your hips through from your heels. That's going to keep the load on the hamstrings. What you're trying to do is load the stretch and then drive through. You don't even need to come all the way to the top. You could come just prior to top and then go back down into the stretch, keeping that load on there. It takes some time to get used to. It can be frustrating, but honestly, guys, stick with it. Stick with the form. Reset where you need to, and it will kick in. And when it does, it's a very, very good exercise. So then moving on to back. Back. Now, this was lat pull down and then next to me you can see to my right is the seated row and that's where I'm going to go straight on to and you're going to see that here. Form, form, form has got to be your priority in all of these. So look, arching my lower back, chest is up. I'm just about clearing my face with the bar and pulling straight down from the elbows. Look how my shoulders are not detaching and moving up to my ears. Please, guys, pay attention to this. Pull from the elbows, chest up, lower back arched and a nice squeeze through the back. You do not need to be swinging. You do not need to be overextending. You do not need to let the shoulders detach. And the same rules apply to the seated row. So look, as I sit here, I'll lie back, set my shoulders. Then I raise my body through to the start position. And then I go. What I'm looking for here is to pull towards my lower abs. I'm trying to keep my chest up, arching my lower back. And I'm going to extend through with my chest at the top of each rep and squeeze back, keeping my elbows close to the body. You can do this with a pull a little bit higher up to the chest. Or as I'm doing here, you can do it to the um, to your lower or abs. What I would suggest doing is adjusting your grip on the handle a little bit up for a lower pull and a little bit down on the handle for if you're going to pull it towards your chest. That's going to help with that contraction work. Back done in literally 11 minutes. Five sets. Next up, triceps. So total gym time up to this point is around about the 30 minute mark. We're going to move on to triceps using one side of the cables. We're going to do 
underhand grip extensions followed by overhead rope extensions look how i set my body here you see how i set my shoulders back my chest is up arching the lower back vacuum stomach hips slightly kicked back out the way and see how my arms are finishing at a slight forward angle that's going to help keep the load on the triceps really need to give this a go guys it seems to me that it takes and alleviates a lot of the stress from the elbows um, but you're gonna have to find out for yourself everyone's body's different but look how i'm extending through at that forward angle then it's dropped the weight because the overhead work is a little bit harder pulling it round to the front. Then what we're gonna do is set the elbows quite wide. We're gonna bring the knuckles together behind the head. Then we're gonna extend up and out. Only go out as far as you need to get a full extension on the arm. Don't try and split it too wide. If it only needs to go two inches, it only needs to go two inches. That's all that matters. Again, vacuum stomach, arching my lower back, chest up, no body swing. Here I'm utilizing a rest pause moment, then again driving up. You can see my stomach being held in the vacuum there, squeezing and making sure every rep counts. There is a reoccurring theme here, guys. Vacuum stomach, chest up, strict movements. Put these into practice and I promise you, I promise you, you will progress. There you have it. Oh, 45 minutes. We did hamstrings, back and triceps. Five sets per exercise. That's 10 sets per body part in 45 minutes. And I would challenge you to say that it is tough as any 90 minute to two hour workout. Absolutely, oh, taking a knee, taking a knee. Absolutely obliterated. Form throughout, rest pauses were needed. Strict, quickly, but not rushed. So remember, it ain't about the time that you put in, but the work that you put in, in the time. Music's off. Doors are shut in, and Lainey is finishing out those last sets. Are you working hard as a girl? <laughs> well, it seems we've got a new resident at home in the garden. Look, I mean, we're home, we've made noise, we've banged car doors. He doesn't care. Does not care. What's going on? Where's it going to be? Hiya. Hi. Hi. How have you been? Where have you been? What have you seen? Hi. 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 Is there a rabbit? What's that? What's that? It's just, just absolutely chilling. No care. Worst guard dog ever. Yeah, just, just having a stretch, mate. No, just, just, no tickle my belly, tickle my belly. So into our back garden, and, and it helpers. is barbecue time with the little helpers. Are these things called barbecue? Do they involve a uh, biscuits? Maybe? Yeah, fuck it. So we're having uh, some muscle food and these are pure chicken breast in the form of sausages. So we're gonna put those in a wrap with some salad. Enjoy the sun, the day, the fun. We've got our final big meal of the day. Sweet potato chips with a pure chicken breast burger. Some pickles, protein cheese, some relish on a wholemeal bap created by the Bobster. Has what? It has Greek cheese in the middle. What? Yeah. What? Salad cheese, but it's just—it's not even advertised for being low-fat, but it is. It's so good. Oh, I love life. Mm. Nice. Bam. Thanks for joining us as normal, and we are back on track. Boom, baby. <laughs> What I want to know that is, over here I had a stick and now it's gone. Have you seen my stick? <laughs>